Hi there, it's Michael here with the first of uh, a bunch of short videos for my Year 11 Math Methods class. Um, what I'm going to be doing in this short video is just reviewing how we actually get up residual plots by looking at two examples in the booklet that I gave out in our last lesson. Um, just a small warning, if you hear funny gurgling in the background, it is not me, it's my daughter Olive who's just gotten up and is playing whilst I record this. So, thank you Olive. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scroll down. This is the booklet that I gave out. And question number one has 11 data points, each representing the height and the weight of an individual. And the idea is we want to see, is there some kind of mathematical relationship between the height and weight of an individual? Now, what I'm going to get up now is a graphics calculator emulator called SmartView. And using this, I'll be able to kind of lead you through the graphics calculator commands and I'd really encourage you to try this out by yourself uh, once you finish watching this video or whilst you're watching it. Now to save time, what I've done is I've already put that data set in my calculator in list 1 and in list 2. And the first step what I need to do is to generate a scatter plot. So in order to do that, I go second y equals to get the scatter plot up. We can see that my first scatter plot is off, so I need to actually turn that on. So I go across turn that on, and then I can hit graph. And surprise, surprise, we can't see anything, so we need to go to zoom, and if we scroll down to number 9, which is our zoom stat, and there's my scatter plot. Um, as you can see, I've got a bigger screen over here, and the great thing with this emulator, you can see uh, what I've got in my graphs, my y equals, and I've also got another scatter plot here. Anyway, what I need to do now is generate the straight line of best fit. So in order to do that, I press STAT, I go across to CALC, and I go all the way down to number four, which is linear regression. And now I press ENTER. Now, uh, I need to get list one, and we can see that's just above the one, and list two. So I go second one to get list one, comma, second two to get list two, comma. Now, this is the tricky bit. Um, I want the calculator to spit out the linear regression that I obtained so I can actually get the graph of it. So I go to vars for variables, go across to y vars, press enter for function, and there's y1. Enter. Hit enter. And there's my straight line of best fit. And we can see already in this plot here, there's my uh, linear regression. We can see that the R value is 0.85, so it's a strong uh, straight line of best fit. And the R squared value is 0.72, so that means 72% of the variation in weight is due to height. What I'm going to do is, if I hit graph now, we can see there's my straight line of best fit. And that, that you should be able to do. Now, what I want to do is basically see how good is that linear model. And if you remember, there's three things I look at. The first is I just use my gut feeling in my eyes, and I think, yeah, that straight line follows the trend, and that looks okay. And if I just double check that R and R squared value again, we can see, yeah, they're quite strong. So that's two out of three of the pieces of evidence I've got. The next thing I'm going to do is to generate a residual plot. So in order to do that, I need to get at my stat plots. And we can see in my first stat plot, I've got list one against list two. So I'm just going to go down and change list two. So I go second stat to get up the list. And you can see number seven is the residuals. So I'm going to press seven. And we can see now I'm going to get a plot of list one against the residuals. And if I graph that, so I'll hit graph. Now there's my straight line. I can't see the residuals. And that's a bit boring. So all I need to do is go zoom nine, my stat zoom. And there we can see my residual plot, or it's just here on the bigger screen. Again, you can hear I live in the background. Um, what we can see with the residuals, there are some positive residuals and there are some negative. And overall, it looks kind of random, which is what we're looking for. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through another example, um, a nonlinear regression, and we're going to have a look at those residuals. So if I go back to the work booklet and if we scroll down and basically it was this example here looking at infant nutrition in developing companies, countries I should say, not companies, and I've got the age in months of newborns and their weight in kilograms. 
So what I'm going to do is input that into my graphics calculator. I'll do that now. So what I've actually done here, I've, I've just hit pause and I've put in, in list 1 and list 2 the data set which we can see on the big screen. I'm just going to go to my um, y equals and just clear that linear regression. And now I want to see what that graphic, uh, that scatter plot looks like. And if I hit graph, I get an error di uh, dimension mismatch. And the reason I've got that is if I look at my stat plot, I'll just hit enter. Uh, if I, second y equals, and you can see I'm actually graphing this one against the residuals, and I don't have residuals for this one. So I need to go down, and I need to change that. So what I can do, there's a couple of ways, but I'm going to go second stat, and I'm going to go down to list, oops, there we go, list two. So now I'm going to get a scatter plot of list one against list two. I'm going to hit graph, surprisingly I don't see anything, so I hit zoom nine, Zoom stat, and there's my uh, scatter plot. Now, if I come to the big screen, you can see basically as time increases, the weights of the newborn increases, but it doesn't kind of look like a straight line. Uh, so my eyes and my gut feeling say, yeah, linear regression might capture something, but I don't think it's probably the best. So what I'm going to do anyway, just for fun, is I'm going to go to stat, count. I'll do a linear regression anyway. And then I'll go second list one, comma second list two, comma vars, y vars, enter, enter. So we can see when I've done the linear regression, I actually get quite a high R value, correlation coefficient of about 0.91, and an R squared value of 0.82, which says 82% of the variation in weight is due to the age in months. Now, if I actually graph that, you can see it doesn't look that great. And obviously, because the relationship is curved, it's not linear. What I'm going to do now is just actually have a look at that residual plot. So, second y equals, and again, I go down to the y list. I go second stat to get the list, and number seven are the residuals. Now, if I graph these residuals, that's a straight line. Again, I've got to go zoom 9. That's my residual plot. And as you can see, it doesn't look random like my previous residual plot, which I've still got down here. We can see originally the first few residuals are negative, then they become positive, then they become negative. So there's a definitive pattern there. So obviously, um, this I've got evidence here that it's not a linear relationship. And again, that goes with my gut feel and uh, what my eyes tell me. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go stat, calc, I'm going to do another regression and we looked at doing a cubic regression. So I go cubic, I'm going to go second one, again we can hear Olive in the background who's having a great time there. Um, I go second two comma vars, y vars. Now I'm not going to do this uh, y1, I'm going to do y2, so that way I can compare the linear regression to the non-linear regression, the cubic. Enter. Now, I'm going to talk later about this capital R squared. Let's just put that aside for now. But there is my cubic model. It's got four parameters, the A, B, C, and D. And if I graph that, now before I graph that, what I'm going to do is I need to go back to the stat plot. You can see I've got the residuals. So I'm just going to go back here and I'm going to put y1 against y2 and as you can see you've got to be a little bit nifty with your calculator don't give up if you get an error message now I'm going to hit graph again doesn't come up zoom 9 I'll try that again zoom 9 okay there's my scatter plot there's a straight line of best fit that doesn't look great and there is my cubic regression which follows the trend pretty well well, look, I'm going to finish up there. Um, what I'd encourage you to do is either try those uh, two regressions out yourself and try and get up those residual plots um, or work through those two exercises that I gave you in class. Again, you should be able to do residual plots for any of the questions in the uh, DI that you're working on. Thanks a lot. See you later.